Welcome to Nasir Soft. In this video, I will show you how you can extract the data from MySQL through Python and save it inside the CSV file. So this is very simple. First of all, uh, this is my database name and the name of the database is research underscore ms and inside this one, this is the table the table name is tweets underscore data and inside this table there are various columns like username inside the username there are all the user name data of the tweets uh, okay username the author name inside the author name column there is a mention all the author's name inside the timestamp there is a time of tweet and inside the text attribute there is the bold tweet text. Okay. so for example this is the bold tweet and similarly there is emoji column uh, comments column likes column and retweet column as well so in this video after watching this video you will able to learn how you can extract it at, uh, this data okay inside the python and then how you can save it inside the csv file or how you can export the data inside the csv file for the mysql uh, basically it is the database okay uh, and inside the database there are various tables and inside the table you store your data okay so what about the python inside the python first of all uh, we need to connect our this uh, basically python to the mysql for fetching this uh, data from a specific database specific table and after that when we save the data then i will show you how you can uh, export it inside the csv so this is my uh, pycharm basic project and inside this one you need to install two libraries the first library is this one that is import pandas spd and the second uh, you need to install the library the second one is the uh -oh, mysql dot connector okay uh, for the installation inside the pycharm go to the inside the terminal and i have already installed so you can here write the command for installation the find us that pip install and then the library name that is pandas as I have already installed, so therefore it shows me the message that uh, uh, pandas is already installed. So for installation, the MySQL connector here, write the command that is pip install mysql dot connector. Okay, press enter. After that, here it shows me the message that mysql dot connector is already installed inside. This one is already satisfied. Okay, so if you uh, already installed this one, then leave this step and after importing the both libraries first of all we tell uh, this mysql connector that our database username and password is this one you need to go to this uh, database and then for fetching the data for specific table so first of all i made a db variable inside this one from mysql dot connector dot connect method okay inside this parenthesis you need to call the username password for your specific database so in my scenario my user user that is equal to root and my database name is research underscore ms after uh, give uh, passing the credential to this mysql dot connector dot connect method and i save it inside the db okay after this we need to create our cursor okay and this is the db dot cursor okay after this now we need to write the query okay for query this is a query variable and inside this one i make a basically i want to select all this data from this table tweets underscore data okay so for example for instance i only want to extract the tweets okay the text and the username okay the both fields so for this inside the query here i write the query that is select 
the two fields the first is for example text and the second is user okay what is the name abbreviation that is user underscore name underscore name and the table name table name is from uh, tweets underscore data okay so this is the query so for execution the query here for the cursor dot execute method okay we pass this query to the cursor dot execute so it execute the it will execute the query so after execution the query for fetching all the data and store inside my for example this variable my all data and inside this one okay so give me the cursor dot fetch all okay so for fetch all methods give me all the records and save it inside my my all data variable so perfect so first we query to the database this one that username is this and the table name is this and give me all the data and store inside my all data variable as there are more than one uh, rows so therefore uh, for inside the my all data okay we need to uh, here uh, basically uh, fetch row by row so for this one here for uh, we extract two column the first is text and second is username so therefore i write here for user underscore name and tags okay in inside the my all data where all the rows are mentioned here okay so inside the for loop the first thing is now each individual row or record username are inside the username and tech tweets are inside the text variable so for storing this one here I write the array okay for storing the username and text for all these data okay so for example here uh, I write all okay something meaningful array that is all user name the first array I declare this one and similarly the second array for all tweets okay and I name it all tweets and that is also an array okay so inside the loop for fetch when you fetch all the data inside the my all data and individually for the first row okay save the username inside the all username first index for this one that is all username dot append method okay and save the username of each individual okay at the first time first username save inside the all username array and after the first row after uh, inside the second loop or, or second uh, row okay save the username inside the second index of all username array and similarly it will uh, execute and store all these username inside the all username array similarly okay this is this one and i copy all these line for all tweets okay append the each individual tweet that is that come inside the text attribute okay and save inside the all tweets okay so after executing all these for uh, rows it save all the username to all username and all the tweets to the all uh, tweets basically array okay so here when i uh, out of the for loop as it will execute all the rows for example there are thousand rows and after thousand rows it save all the username and tweets inside the use all username and all tweets array so here now we need to store this data that i have fetched to csv okay for this one you need to first create a dictionary so for example i name the variable that is for dictionary that is data frame okay so and inside the data frame inside for example the user name 
save all the username okay so now after executing the for loop inside the all username array we have all username and similarly inside the i named second uh, attribute as tweets okay that will be inside the csv file or word uh, excel file okay and inside this one all the tweets are inside the all tweets array so therefore inside the tweets save all the tweets and inside the username save all the username okay and now after creating this data frame sorry dictionary okay this is dictionary so name it dictionary like okay and now we will create a data frame by using the pandas data frame method as the panda is i have already installed and abbreviation is pd so therefore through the pd dot data frame method here i pass this dictionary and the last step is now i have data frame inside the df variable so now i will uh, basically save this data frame to csv file so i name it for example df to csv and inside this variable by using the data frame dot to csv method inside this parenthesis name the path where you want to save this uh, csv file this data to the csv file and for example i give it inside my some location desktop so inside my e drive i save okay instead of desktop for this one go to the e and inside my e drive here save to the uh, that is for example nasir underscore soft dot csv file okay inside my e save this data frame to the csv file that name of the csv file that is located inside my e is nasir soft okay save the program and if you execute this code for, uh, first it fetch all the text and username from the your table that is tweets data and save so all my data are uh, is stored inside the my all data and through this for loop we fetch the data row by row and for each individual row we save the username and text inside over this array all username and all tweets and after this one uh, I create a dictionary and save all the user name data to inside the username uh, attribute okay and inside the tweets attribute I save all the tweets and then from the uh, uh, pandas data frame uh, method okay we create a data frame and then we save the data frame to inside my any drive you want so inside my e drive inside the nasisoft.csv file I save this one okay so if I click on the execute button then hope there is there will be no error yes and it shows me the process finish with exit zero if I go inside the e drive and here you see that the nasis soft csv file is created and if I open this one you can see here this is the username column and inside the username there is uh, there uh, there is the username and inside the tweets if i uh, extract this one like okay okay there is i think yes so basically it replaced this thing and there is an error inside the username it save all the tweets and inside the tweets it save the username so this is because i disturbed the sequence and so from the text and username okay so and here i change the sequence so first try the text and then the username okay so now if i again execute after closing this one this file not save if you again execute and again the this csv file is created and if i now double click so now it worked so the first column that is username and the second that is tweets extract this thing so inside this username there is a username and inside the tweets there is the old tweet data so this is how you can 
fetch the data from MySQL and how you can save the data from MySQL to the your Excel for example CSV file okay so hope this video will help you a lot uh, the video code is also mentioned uh, inside the video description uh, my git link okay so you can uh, just uh, click on that link and copy the code if you have any question regarding to this uh, video you can email me email is mentioned in video description or you can comment inside the video comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos stay blessed have a nice day